I'm uh, Marc Tancier, one of the three uh, founding partners of Marc and Chantal. We want to find a place basically between research, our clients, and creativity. And kind of being a catalyst for doing research that are maybe more inspiring, more meaningful, and we hope we can demonstrate that with this first project. The first subject we choose for this research is travel and millennials in China. I'm going to pass to Danny from ECOM, who's going to go through uh, some of the research and findings uh, of the report that we conducted with ACON, our partner. Well, this research, we actually conducted it uh, qualitatively via focus groups. Okay, and it, a total of six groups were conducted in Shanghai, Beijing, and in Guangzhou. So in terms of holiday themes, um, altogether we tested six of them, and these are the top three. And for holiday concepts, in terms of, ho in terms of hotel, we actually had five, and these are the top three. So for holiday themes, it's about adventure trail, European classic, a few good retreat. And for hotel concepts, it'll be a local homestay, luxury hotel, and design hotel. So uh, beside uh, the result of uh, the qualitative survey that was done uh, with, with, uh, with ACON, we thought uh, we needed to do a different type of research where we get those people almost in front of you, basically. It's more like a portrait and uh, getting to know them uh, into the things that they, they, they do, they like, and how they talk. So we went on uh, to uh, do a few things. So first was a, a video. And then we asked a few people to open their bag and just see what they're packing when they travel. Uh, the first one is an uh, engineer. And uh, uh, so he's more a young professional, not from a wealthy family, but still very broad questions. Here in the report, we give you three of our I think the takeaway, you know, the, the big insight uh, that we thought were uh, extremely uh, important. And the first one is escape. Escape was a big, was a key driver to, to, for them to travel out of China. <coughs> you understand when you talk to them that getting out of China of the pollution, of the stress, and maybe some of the mindset also, it's, is, a, is a key thing for them. That's concludes our first part of the presentation, and I think we'll, uh, we'll move on later to the, to the panel discussion. We have a kind of spectrum of the industry and travelers here that we couldn't take up, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to have some feedback. The many things we talked about, but in those final three insights of escape and bonding and learning, was there one that stood out to you? Did you feel a personal uh, kind of connection to any of those as describing yourself? Escape, maybe at this moment I do not have a very strong force of escape because I'm still <laughs> still there, right? And so maybe learning is my the first of me because I will go to uh, Edinburgh for my study and then traveling is a form of learning and then when I'm learning I will find a bonding and also find an escape in mind. And I just even listen to you Mika again, you know, it's just that there's such a sort of confidence and bravery and fearlessness somehow in the Chinese um, mentality in, uh, in travel you know compared to think about you know the the growth of, ja of, <coughs> of travel in Japan it took so much longer for yeah. for the Japanese to feel confident about doing those kinds of things but you've just got this in a generation you've got people kind of just turning yeah. up and you know I mean more more brave in some ways than yeah. you know the people on gap years in the in the Western context while the, the market has diversified itself, you have a mixture of domestic travelers and interna mm. international travelers. And then I think at one period we're designing specific needs for the two groups of people. Mm. And you do see a convergence of okay. travel habits or value propositions in that manner. So you're actually defining more, less about the nationality and where the origins of the travel, but mm. from the habits, mm. from maybe the, the value systems, the, the the experience of traveling, the job nature, and so on and so forth. But that's also related to how China has globalized itself mm. to, to the international market. We found that travel for this generation was a way to, uh, an affirmation of their individuality. So it defined themselves as individual against a group, but at the same time they want to be part of tribes. So we talk about that also. 
Uh, and I think our creative response is addressing these issues.